Here at DIT, we put a new salvage boat in the water. Uh, the old one was pretty raggedy. It had been around for 15 plus years and it just wasn't seaworthy anymore. From drawing to conception, I believe it was three months to fab everything up, get it in the water, and then get the first class diving on it. The point of the salvage module is to get these students introduced to the salvage work that divers do. So anything below the surface that needs to be brought back up, that's a salvage job. Every dive company does salvage, big contracts, small contracts, doesn't matter, but uh, every dive company does a little bit of salvage, so it's good to know at least the basics of understanding how it's going to be done. And we break the, the class up into teams. Each team is their own salvage company. Needs to be moved towards the bow. First thing they're going to do is go down uh, and they're going to take measurements on the boat. Uh, they're going to find all the damage, and then in their teams, they're going to put together a salvage plan. They'll execute it from there. So the first set of divers will go down, They'll put on the patches, they'll put up all the doors, they'll put blind flanges on, and what we call putt pieces to help pump out the boat. The second set of divers will go down, they'll hook up the pontoons that we use to float the boat. They'll hook up what they call Chicago pneumatic fittings to the voids on the boat so we can add more air to the vessel to bring it up, then we, we bring it up. Each team gets a day to raise the boat based on their plan. They have to stick to their plan, and of course the plan doesn't work, then they have to think on their feet and come up, all right, well, we can't do the same thing again, what are you gonna do now? So the salvage plan is always moving, it's always changing, it's, it's written in mud is what we say. Nothing's ever written in stone. Hey, come up on that tool bag. We fabricated the vessel, we built it in a way that it would have compartments that could be pressurized to help assist the lift. We have air uh, going through our manifolds, down to our pontoons. We also have two voids in the boat where we can capture air to help with the lift. These red hoses are the CP hoses, so they're actually going to be connecting to the bow and stern sections of the boat. That's what's going to circulate the air into the compartment of the boat that's sealed off. These hoses actually run to the pontoons that are installed on the boat. Once those are turned on, the air is going to start circulating into the pontoons, pushing the water back out of them, and that's going to help raise the boat up. As long as you're pumping more water out than it's getting in, it's successful salvage. It's a challenge every time, so the students are gaining from it like, like never before. If you succeed, there's the fruits of your labor, the boat's on the surface. If you don't succeed, everybody knows about it. So you don't want to be those guys.